we're, we, we we jumped all over the place. We did. We were but, excited. Oh, dude, I've been excited we're for, so for the excited. past two weeks. We've been talking about this, but here's the thing: I want to talk about that trailer. I was like a kid on Christmas Eve. Okay, counting down the hours when that trailer was going to drop. I didn't even know the time until like dude. I think early that morning it was going to drop at ten o'clock. I was stuck at work. Okay, I know, and, and I, I could have watched it at work. Right. But my wife didn't get off work till like five, mm-hmm. and she well not the Halloween fan that I am. Okay, so first of all, I want to say that she, I believe the first Halloween movie she ever saw was Rob Zombie's first remake, Ooh. and she didn't like it. Bad way to start, it. yeah. So when I said let's watch Halloween the original, she was like, ah, I didn't right. like Halloween. You right. trust me to like Halloween. So she oh, became yeah. a fan over time, and then of course she got on the hype train with this. I'm showing her everything, and she oh, got yeah. pumped. So had to wait for her to watch a trailer. Let me just say, isn't that not the best friend in the world? You love a movie so much, you yeah. can draw other people into it too, oh, God, and yeah. get them to jump on board, yeah. man. Oh, I love Dude, it. And I want to show anybody this trailer who's willing to watch, even you know. I know like, I'm going to jump off track for one second, dude. I'm one of those kind of people that I will make you watch Halloween, and just to make sure you pay attention, I will give your ass a quiz. Wait, you got it written out like A, my, my B, C. favorite, favorite, favorite question to stump everybody on. What row and plot number is Judith Myers buried? Oh, I don't even know. That's crazy. Whoa, how do you even... No, because they say it, though, yeah. when, no, they're, when they're going, yeah. he says it. As he's walking, it's row 18, plot 20. Row 18, plot 20. And that is one of my favorite questions, and you would you know, not believe about the that? people. Look, it's 2018. Uh-huh. 2018 is when the movie's coming out. They knew. They knew. They knew. They we're going to do this 40 years. We're going to do 40 years. years. We're going to do a real and, sequel. And Donald Pleasant's probably wanted to be in it. Like, if he knew... Dude, that man said in, in, in an interview one time that he wanted... They weren't going to stop until 100 Halloween films. Yeah. I wish he was still here. He said, he did say, I will do any Halloween food yeah. film you ever want me to do. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame. I mean, he did, what, 1995 or 6? Uh, that it right was, after. It was after part 6. And yeah, they actually, part, they yeah. even had to film uh, some of it without him because yeah. he had already passed. Uh, but, uh, by the way, big fan of Donald Pleasance. And, and, I mean, he made. Nobody, nobody can play the Dr. Loomis character like that. He Donald. is as synonymous with Halloween as Michael Myers. Is. Absolutely, yeah. Or as he's as he's as important as John Carpenter is. Mm-hmm. I mean really he honestly no, he is. is. There there is no there's no Halloween without Doctor Loomis. No, no. He's there a great is. character. For fifteen we're, we're, years. We're, we're gonna have a Doctor <laughs> Loomis Loomis list. Right. That makes any that's a new right. word for today. Uh Halloween, but it's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be really tough. It is. That's but, the one thing that's yeah. gonna be missing. But you can't there's nothing you can't bring in somebody else no, to play. No. You know, Listen, Malcolm McDowell was decent for He did an okay job, although they jacked the you know, character up a little uh, bit. He became like again, a selfish... And I, and I hate to jump off track, but he was an asshole in part two. He, exactly. He became he like a, a selfish prima donna. Asshole. And that's not Dr. Loomis. Well, no. Dr. Loomis is... Yeah. is uh, Because let's be honest, if Dr. Loomis wasn't this super nice guy that cared about other people, he'd yeah. stay far away from this Michael Myers Listen, crap. Somebody <laughs> said, look, your whacked out patient of so many odd years, you know, decided to... You know, yeah. he, he broke free of it. Like, I'm going the other way. Right. That sucks. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Fuck him. Right. You do what you're going to do. Right. I'm out, dude. I am a doctor. I am not a police officer. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and here's the thing, man, about the trailer again. Like, I, I had chills, man. When, oh. 10 o'clock hit. Found the trailer. Hit that play button. And I legit had chills. I, I was nervous because I was afraid that it was going to disappoint. I was afraid that... I was afraid that... First of all, because I'm excited for myself, and I'm excited yeah. because I want my wife to be excited as well. Because right. we're we're planning on going. To, we have, we have the day off work. Right. I mean, no, yeah. we're going. You know, that, this is a movie that if you don't see it, theater, shame on you. Oh God, shame You're on missing you. Out. Yeah. Absolutely. So I was like, not only am I nervous that I won't like it, I'm nervous she won't like it, and she's going to put a damper on the whole thing. I really hope they did this right. Yeah. There's no question. I mean. No question about it. All. Actually, there was not really much of a question even after they did the teasers and stuff beforehand. Yeah. But and then I asked her after the trailer, "What do you think?" And she said, "I'm more excited now than what I was before I saw this." So, and I know that's everybody's reaction. And if that's not your reaction, you know nothing about the Halloween. Films. No, and that's the thing. You have a, you have casual fans that are going to think this is mm-hmm. the original Halloween coming out. Mm-hmm. They don't know. They don't know. Some people may be so introduced. They're confused. This. Yeah. Now, I, I did want to touch on this. It's a tough one for me to admit. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely love Halloween 2. The original Halloween me 2 too, from 1981. I think it was a 
great follow up mm -hmm. to the first one. It was. Right? It took place in the same night. Yes. Picked up right where it I left don't care off. that it took place years later. It still took right. place in no. the same night. And they did night. such a great job yes. of filming everything and making it. Uh, a lot of people shit on Dick Warlock's version of Michael Myers. I thought he was great. He did a really good job. I Listen, he was great. of all the Michael Myers portrayals, you can hardly point out that Dick Warlock. Was the worst. I no, mean, I mean, not at all. he wasn't Nick Castle. No, uh, but Dick Warlock was a good Michael Myers. He, uh, you know, just the way he, I don't know, he put his own touch on it. He did. He and glided was, a little bit. Yeah. more. he was smoother. But he than, was scary though. That's he the, was scary. The dude, when he was walking after you, that's a scary look, he man. Did. Like you look back and see that shit. Yeah, I'm running. I think faster, I think okay? of the scene when he picks the nurse up and her shoes <laughs> oh, fall off. Love that scene. I mean, that's my favorite yeah. scene in the whole movie, dude. <laughs> but okay, this is very tough for me to admit. Seeing the trailer for this one, and I, I don't even know this. This is really tough. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. The world's watching. Any punches here, man. Uh, I really feel like this is the sequel though mm -hmm. that we should have gotten in the first place. Yeah, I think this is probably more along the lines of what Carpenter would have wanted to do had yeah. he had the option. Well, that's I, and I'm sure in the back he touched on that because he yeah. didn't like the story. At all. He didn't like he it. Didn't like he it. wrote. He wrote it. He was being pushed into doing this movie, the mm -hmm. second Halloween. He was drinking while doing it. He didn't know where to go. That's how we got... Boy, it's so funny how the whole brother and sister thing took on a life of its own because he just threw that in there. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that if John Carpenter had his way, there would have not been another Halloween movie made between then and now. Yeah. And we know he didn't like right. Rob Zombie's right. movies. So. No, but the question is, and that, that's a, that poses a really good question, though. And I think you're right. I, I think Absolutely. I think he would have rather have done 78 and then... Had this, yeah. I've been approached at this time yeah. still, but that's the question though. Had they had not done this entire Halloween franchise, then wouldn't have been as popular as it is today. Yeah. Would they have done this forty years later? And it's possible that they that's wouldn't the have because you wait so long. And is it? Mm -hmm. You know, I remember thinking that when they did Scream Four, right. this is going off of another track. I remember right. thinking, "Wow, they're doing this at the perfect time." Mm -hmm. They wait, and then it didn't do very well. No, which is a shame because I love uh, the movie. But I feel like. That series should have stopped at three. You know? Reality should have. Yeah. In reality, it should have. Yeah. But, come on. As a horror movie junkie, anytime, and, and it could go the same for Halloween. This, let's be honest. This Halloween movie could look like total dog doo-doo, and we'd still be happy to see it. Yeah. You know, I think it's, it's just a nice little bonus that it looks awesome. Man, <laughs> you know? And that's the thing. If, if you watch this trailer, and you don't like what you see... I don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. I don't know what I, you're I don't, looking for. I, if this doesn't please the, the everyday Halloween fan... But I, don't I mean, whether it, it stays true to everything. It, it yeah. doesn't piss on anything in the series. No. As a matter of fact, when we come back, we're going to touch on a lot of the uh, stuff that compares to, like, mm -hmm. the Easter eggs, man, the comparison picture. Just all this stuff that they took so, so, so much detail in. Yeah. I'm looking forward to talking about it. Oh, me too. I can't wait to see the stuff. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Again, collect ourselves, get back on track, take a few more drinks, and we'll be right And we're back again. Uh, so, one of the things uh, when you think about the new Halloween movie, yeah. any Halloween movie, uh, how does it compare to the original? The, the original is a classic. The original is a masterpiece. You'll never beat it. And while we don't know because we haven't seen the movie, um, there are some things that really give us a lot of hope. Uh, and there, if you compare some of the pictures from 1978 film to the new one, it looks like there was really well, extra care taking place. And not even just 78, but you look at just all the sequels, because this is more or less your comparison pictures, your Easter eggs. It's right, the, everything the, the attention to detail. Yeah. Man. So I'm going to pull up this first one, and it just, I mean, just as simple as this, man. <laughs> it's okay. Haddonfield down here, it's Haddonfield yeah. up here, right? you got the classic picture of Lori, Linda, and Annie walking down the sidewalk. And you have 2018's version of Lori's granddaughter and her two friends walking down Hattonfield sidewalk. And it just, look at it. Yeah. It's just, I mean, come on, man. And something I want to point out, this was filmed in California in 1978. Yep. Uh, this was filmed in Charleston, South Carolina, which, yep. by the way, I've been to Charleston on several occasions. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful city. If you ever get a chance, go, definitely. And now that you have more of it, of a reason to go because you get check out a lot exactly. of these filming. Dude, there was a reporter that said they were allowed on set one night and it was the night that they filmed the scene where uh, he was in the closet. Mm -hmm. So that was what they got to see live and in person, okay? They actually saw that scene. Yeah, they saw this nice. scene happen. But they said that they made that look so much like Haddonfield that it was crazy. Yeah. Like it's they amazing. said they walked into 
Uh, was it South Carolina? Yeah, Charleston. They walked into Hattonsville. It, it's amazing because if you've ever been to South Carolina, Charleston, it's an old colonial style, yeah. and it's it's a very hipster kind of city. I get I don't know if hipsters are right kind of way. There's restaurants and coffee shops and right. bars, and it's really uh, a uh, an involved hopping downtown. You wouldn't think Haddonfield, Illinois. No, you know? but they said that they felt like they walked yeah. right into Haddonfield. You know, when you bring up this other one, man, I, I just again just. The attention to detail here is just... Okay, look at the original 1978. Now, th this one has a lot to it. You bring up the 1978 version where old Lonnie here, get your ass away from there. Lonnie, that. get your ass away from there. Exactly. Runs into old Michael Myers there at, at school. But then you have the scene where Dick Warlock runs into his son. Yeah. A lot of people maybe not know yeah, that. That's that was his son. And he's carrying a boombox. Now we come over to 2018. Here's Michael Myers running into a group of kids. One carrying a boombox, which is a throwback to Halloween 2. And my buddy here pointed out um, the the pirate guy with the exactly the kid dressed like the, the pirate was just whatever like the kids was from Halloween. By too. the way, what was wrong with that kid's mouth? Is that uh, supposed I'm thinking to be he got the apple with the razor blade. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, that that's what sense. I always thought. That makes sense because I was always wondering what the deal. Was. Dude, again, the, the the comparison picture, the attention to detail. These are the Easter eggs yeah. that, that if you're a true Halloween fan and you don't appreciate what they're doing right here. Yeah. Shame and another you. thing I want to point out with this is the way if you look at the up here on this picture, the way he stops him like this. Yeah. In the trailer, he stops him like that. Mm -hmm. And and I know this is only something a total Halloween nerd would point out. The way the coveralls fit him is even perfect. The way, you know, Absolutely. just the way he moves and stops the yep. kid. It hasn't been done like that since at no. least 1981. Right. This one here, man, like, again. Classic scene. Yeah. You got him after he killed old Bob there in the kitchen. He puts on the ghost sheet. And you have 2018. Now, we don't know who's under there. I assume... You know what I think who I, All right. who I think it is? I, I'd love to know. I want to say that I think it's the babysitter who's killed. He puts it over her head. That's a good point. Because if you look in the trailer, when Lori sees Michael... We could add this to our theory scene, but since we no, have the yeah, picture. No, you're right, yeah. Uh, there's a cop who comes mm -hmm. in and finds her, and there's a jack-o'-lantern in, in the fish tank. Right. And there's a scene in the trailer... Where Lori, see, you know, when she sees him in the mirror, mm -hmm. if you look to the left, in the there's other somebody, room, else, there's in somebody else in there, yeah. and when the gunshot goes off, he looks. I think that Michael Myers is in the other room. The cop is in this room discovering the body. That's what I think. I, I don't, I tell you the truth, I, I don't think she's actually seeing Michael Myers at all. I think she's having kind of H2O mm -hmm. style delusions. Yeah, because if you think about it, I think she shot a mirror. I think it was she a mirror did image. shoot the mirror. Yeah. It was a mirror image of him. But was it a reflection of him or was she just seeing him? That's a good question. But that's also the scene where everybody feels that yeah. Nick Castle actually did yeah. that role. And not only that, that would make sense. It's kind of like oh, yeah. seeing the ghosts of her past, mm -hmm. kind of, you know. And, and nobody believes her that Michael's coming back, I'm sure. No, just, nobody course. ever believes that they're, Dr. They're, Lewis character. They're going to think that she's in a delusional old woman that is just. Being stupid. Because she has been for 40 years. Well, we're going to talk about that, too, because I have a theory on that also. But take a look at this one, and it just, again, here's 1988's Halloween 4, and look at 2008. Yeah. Look, look at this. It's the same it's setup. The same gas station setup, man. <laughs> and, okay, from the trailer, we obviously know that in 88, we know that Michael went in there, took the guy's coveralls, Cover all that right. fun stuff. He was still bandaged up from yeah. being in the hospital. 2018, what do we see in that trailer? Same thing. Guy's dead it, over there on, on the floor. Yeah. You know, he took the coveralls. Yep. It just that, just the, the stuff, man. Yeah. Just the comparison stuff. It, just, it goes into what. Yeah, man. It's like putting all the movies into one, yeah. but in, in a good yeah. way and not in very organized. You, again, you you killed everything after '78, but you still put the stuff in there for people yeah. like us, yeah. you know. And that's that's what I like about it. This right here is one of my favorite ones. You don't say this is attention to detail, because yeah. I, I could know. have totally gotten away with not putting that. There. Yes. He got stabbed in 78 with the knitting needle, and damn it, in 2018, he doesn't have a mark right neck. in the side of the mask. Now, you tell me that is not attention to detail right there. It's great. That combined with missing an eye from yes. the hanger. Yes, dude, I that kind of stuff right there. Yeah. This is where I almost feel bad about doubting these guys. Yeah. Because, because they they're, they're doing things that we wouldn't have even thought of. No. No. Yeah. And they blew my, ex my expectations, 100%. This one, too. Okay, she got stabbed, obviously. She got the scar. And she's got the yeah. Now, they did the same thing in H2O, but that no longer exists. Right. The fact that they kept that there and made it, made it a, a thing and a staple of this movie, perfect. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect, man. And you look at this one. 
<laughs> the beautiful. Customer that is. She's banging that. to get in the door. Yeah. There she is. He's. I'm sure he'll be walking across the street. Oh, That's yeah. another thing. This movie is the first Halloween movie since the original that was made in the middle of a neighborhood. Yeah. Out in the open. Yeah. Michael Myers walking amongst the streets, amongst everybody else, yeah. in his full getup, because, hey, nobody knows he's in a Halloween costume. You know, I could walk around mm-hmm. on Halloween dressed with Michael Myers, and no one will bite an eye. He's got the, he picked the perfect night to do it. He definitely did. I mean, come on. He definitely perfect did. Perfect night, man. And this one here, look at that. You got Halloween wow. 2, and you got 2018. Look, it's almost the same facial expression. Oh, man, I just thought of something. What if she shoots his eyes out in this? Well, she's only got one eye to shoot this time. She's <laughs> only got, got, got one eye to shoot. She's right. only got one left. So technically, she's only shooting you that shoot one. Shoot your right? eye out, kid. Exactly. This one. Okay, now this. let me touch on my theory of this, okay? And I've seen this a lot, too, but I, I did come up with this. I didn't read it from somebody else. This was something I immediately thought, even before they released a trailer or anything else. Laurie Strode is our new Dr. Loomis. Yeah. Think about it. it I mean, it... You, you can never replace the character itself. Right. right. But she's going to play that role. At least for one She's movie. the one who's trying to keep everyone safe from right. him, not to mention herself and now her family. Yeah. The exact same thing he was trying to do yeah. for how many years was stop him. 20-some years. And now she takes over years. that role. At least for one movie, she's, she's our Dr. Lewis. Exactly. And, and that's all it needs to be. That's it. But that's the role now that she's yeah. going to take over. Yeah. And let's be honest. Laurie Strode is not the final girl of this movie. No. It's her granddaughter. No. Exactly. And if you go into like we touched again about a sequel, there, there's your person that can yeah. take over from that point. Right. And even, it's still even, be even, the strobe name. Right. Even Judy Greer playing Laurie's daughter could take the role now right. of, of exactly. the Dr. Loomis type character. Or who yeah. knows, somebody else could step in. But This one here I thought was really cool too. Uh, now, this, Is that Michael? This isn't. Okay. This is somebody. That He's got just, dark hair. Just a random right. uh, patient. But I just thought it was cool because here you have him in 78. Trying to get in the car, get ready to take off, and it's just the same kind of setup, man. Because obviously, this is after the bus crashes. Is that Nick Castle? That is Nick Castle. He played. He did that shot. Yeah, did that scene. No kidding. After the bus crashes, uh, there's a, a, a kid and his dad driving down the street. They stop real quick because this guy steps out in front of the car. Obviously, maybe Michael takes his car. So it's going to be reminiscent of yeah. Halloween. It is. It, and they're wearing kind of the same kind yeah, of the white. I mean, it's going to be. Man. Uh, the question is, okay, so we know Michael has gray hair because yeah. you see it in the, in the bathroom scene. Yeah. You catch a glimpse of the top of his head, which I love, by the way. I man, love that. I'm not 61 and I got gray hair. Right. So I'm I got sure. a few yeah, popping yeah, in, too. Hey, just saying, man. So I love that. No, I love that they did that, though. I love that they're <laughs> showing his age. Yeah. Uh, the question is, is are we going to see his face? We could, we could say that for theories if you want. Uh, but you know what? I say no. I don't think so either because, say no. because they're so big on the mystique of Michael Myers. Yeah. I think if anything, you might get a flash of something. Here's the thing. But it'll be very quick. We saw Tony Moran's face in Halloween 1. Yeah. And I think that's all we needed to see. Yeah. That's it. And that is that's Michael it. Myers' face. That's it. You only see his face one other time. And that's a brief just from here. What was that? I'm sorry. Halloween, was it Halloween 5? Down was Halloween 5. She took the mask off. The mask. Yeah. And by then, he was Boogie all... Man. Yeah. Yeah. He had long hair, long hair, and you saw the tear come down his eye. And that and that movie was built on, you're going to see Michael Myers on mass. Mm-hmm. And everybody wanted right. to see it. And all you saw was that eye and a tear. Eye, it yeah. was like, you fuckers. Yeah. But if you pause it in the right area, you can, yeah. you can yeah, really I, see Don Shane's And it's face. funny because I remember mm-hmm. uh, being little and, and pausing. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I went too uh, far. Reminding fact, about... Even before that scene when he uh, ends up at the old guy's house and the old guy takes her for like a year. When he sits up at one point, you see his face you see clear it, as can be. Yeah. yeah. Clear as can be. Yeah. So you saw the actor's face, and I guess everybody's like, okay, so we're so used to Jason and the mask coming right. off and how... Well, he looks like a monster. The evolution of how Jason looks more fucked up after every right. movie. You kind of want to see what Michael Myers looks but like after all But he's just a guy. He's a normal guy. If, if, if you show yeah. Michael Myers' face, you see an older guy. So yeah. you see one year old man. It's really exactly. not that exciting. So it's not something that you need to see? No. Because technically you've already seen it. Right. And I don't, I don't think that they... To me, you don't have to touch them. No, no. I say you, you know? leave the mask on. Yeah. If, if anything, they did a good job. You see the top of his head. Yeah. You see yeah. what you need to see yep. to show an aged Michael Myers. Exactly. But you don't show... First of all, he's not going to look like Tony Moran, so now you've created another plot hole if you have some totally different looking guy that exactly. does not resemble... And let's face it, people are going to bitch about it if oh, they, they do. will, of course. So, I mean, it's, it's just how it's it be- is. It's man. better than... And plus, the mystique of Michael Myers, he's behind the mask. Absolutely. You know. I and I've even heard people say they really shouldn't have even showed his face in the first one. You know, I've heard people make that argument. I feel like that was acceptable. 
I don't, you know? well, in my opinion, I felt like it was necessary. And here's why yeah. I tell you. Because Michael Myers was this shape throughout the entire movie. Yep. Uh, I, I felt like at that point in time, it was important to give a glimpse of humanity there. Yeah. To remind you that this is, this is a, this is a man. <laughs> Absolutely. So. He's, he's not a, a, a ghost or a zombie or something or whatever. Right. Um, but dude, we touched on all this. We got some more stuff. As soon as we come back, a lot more to talk about. A lot more to talk about.